everyone, welcome back to another video where today we are going to be reacting to the brand new trailer for Doctor Who Season 1 or Series 14. Now, to my knowledge, this hasn't actually been officially posted yet, but someone sent me a link to the Unlisted trailer on Disney Plus's YouTube channel, and by the time you guys watch this, I assume the trailer will be out. It's a two minute long trailer, so it's actually quite long. I'm going to be doing a reaction, and then we're going to be dissecting it together. And yeah, let's just get right into this. I've not seen this yet. Subscribe if you're new. If you enjoy Doctor Who content, that'd be greatly appreciated. YouTube does sometimes glitch and unsubscribe people. I've been having it loads recently. So just make sure if you do want to keep track of Doctor Who content, subscribe to this channel. It really does help me out a lot. But with that said, let's get right into it. <laughs> Give me the love I like that. I like that a lot. Where did he come from? I don't know. He sort of popped up at the right moment. And then he spoke about time travel. Ruby, you want to know my secret? I have the whole universe at my fingertips. And I'm all on my own. I'd love it if you came with me. Who are you? Very nice. I'm the doctor. Change me. It's called the TARDIS. It's a time and space machine. Is it safe? Oh my god. Oh my god. What if I change history by oh, stepping wow. on a butterfly? Well, that's not gonna happen, is it? Oh, what's wrong? With all my adventures, I've oh, never seen anything like this before. Oh my, oh my Bridgerton! <laughs> this place is completely <laughs> mad. Things seem to be turning more and more supernatural. <laughs> is that monster? No, don't be silly. There's no such thing as monsters. It's just creatures you haven't met yet. <laughs> there are powers beyond the universe. So fast. <laughs> Could wow. slide into the pit. Oh my god. This is what we're trying to stop. Oh my god. I'm still alone. I need to know okay. she'll be okay. You'll keep her safe? I will keep her safe. I promise. It's taken me all this time to, to change it. To realize what I'm here to do. I'm gonna save the world. To, to, to change it. Everything is possible. Everything. Possible. Time may change oh, me, oh but I can trace time. Oh, what a great soundtrack for for the for the trailer there! Incredible. Okay, I'm gonna just break this down because oh my god, there's a lot to go over. So we open up with some shots of the TARDIS flying into Unit HQ directly. Love that. Um, obviously we've seen the Unit HQ in the 60th, and this is, I believe, episode 6 and 7, according to filming, a uh, new series. I love the, I love this bit of Shooty being like, bring in the love, love that, um, and then so you've got the, the hilltop shot of the TARDIS here, some reuse of Church on Ruby Road, and kind of the chat about, who are you, I'm the Doctor, I travel the universe, but I'm alone, love that stuff. More TARDIS shots. The TARDIS shots just look gorgeous. I wasn't expecting them to look so nice, but they just look so good. We've got some shots of Ruby's family here and the TARDIS crash landing in the flat. So uh, yeah, it looks like they're going to learn about the Doctor some point during the series. Obviously, some more shots from Church here at the end. The colour grade looks different. Is that just me? I don't know whether this is because I'm watching like the unlisted version or whether it'll look different in like the final version. But yeah, the colour grade looks darker, which I find interesting. And then we get, obviously, some new footage of, we've got the Doctor in various different costumes here. We've got him in, like, a kind of Jedi-ish looking one. The 60s one, obviously. Um, and then we've also got this one. And you can see Tennant there. Very interesting. It's like they're scanning him to check that he's the Doctor. In fact, wait, you can see Tennant on multiple screens. Hold on. What's the deal there? Okay. Weird. Very interesting. It looks like younger Tenant, Tenth Doctor Tenant, so it's not like a 14th Doctor thing, I don't think. But, hmm. So maybe it's to do with the Time Agent knowing who the Doctor is, possibly, because I remember seeing speculation that the Regency Era England episode was going to have um, a Time Agent in it, which is what Captain Jack was, for those of you who don't know, basically like an intergalactic time traveller. So it would make sense if they're aware of who the Doctor is. Um, 
which is why I'm assuming they've got like the Doctor up on the monitor. I thought that was Ted for a second. Yeah, so as I said, we got the 60s shot, the shot of him clicking his fingers, uh, some more shots of Church. Uh, the Church shots are really organic, um, and then Ruby says, is it safe the Doctor goes? I don't know. The TARDIS goes absolutely balmy, which I really like as a shot. Love that. Yeah, the visuals just look absolutely fantastic. Obviously, this vortex is used in the intro. This this visual of prehistoric Earth, genuinely, some of the like prettiest visual effects I've seen in, in Doctor Who, probably ever. Uh, I know for like some people who are, like watch Star Wars and stuff, this might not seem like you know next level stuff, but I don't know. Like it's giving avatar vibes almost which i really really like it looks visually just incredible uh we get the um the the stomping on a, a butterfly gag which is a very common uh time travel trope um, and then ruby turns into some sort of like some sort of alien which seems to be the villain for this regency era england episode i'm assuming this lovely vortex shot here look at that lovely oh and then this space shot as well. I spent most of this trailer just marvelling at how it looked. Yeah, so then we've got more of what I believe is episode 6 and 7. Also, is it just me or is the Sonic a different colour? Does the Sonic change colour? Uh, you've got uh, Verada... Is it Verada? No, no, not Verada. See, dude, that's the companion that was leaked. What's her name? Torchwood Woman. She played uh, Susie and she's a villain. She's playing a character called... I can't think of it. The... Oh, God, that's going to bother me now. Uh, if any of you know in the comments, let me know. Oh, the Duchess. She's playing the Duchess. Uh, I, Indira Varma. That's it. Indira Varma. So she looks like she's the villain. And as you can see, um, she's got that weird uh, face-changing ability. She kind of gives me vibes of the Kree from, like, the Marvel... Is it the Kree? Or what are the ones called in the Marvel movies where they change into people? They remind me of them. They're the Kree, the other ones. Uh, the Skrull. The Skrull. They remind me of the Skrull, actually. Uh, but they've also got a weird bird-like aesthetic to them. Um, you get a Bridgerton joke in in here with the, the Regency episode. Uh, some stuff with Jinx Monsoon. Uh, like, we got the big sci-fi action one here, which I'm assuming is Moffat's. There's something inside the drums in the in the Beatles, um, like, bass here. I'm assuming, like, this is something that the uh jinx monsoon character is doing like trapping a person inside a drum which is a really cool visual and then we've got some talk about some supernatural stuff from kate and along with this character who i'm not saying is the trickster but looks very trickster-esque um this shot here of the doctor and ruby from that one episode we've seen which i believe is you know the next episode along from church on ruby road because we've got that line of a creature is just um a, cre a monster is a creature you just haven't met yet, uh, which we heard in Doctor Who Unleashed, I believe. But yeah, this creature looks fantastic. Really, really good. We got like a whole sandstorm going on here. Uh, again, going in through unit, HQ. You can see here, Yasmin Finney is, is also part of the team. So I am wondering how she is um, going to factor in. And we also see Lenny Rush here as well, who was announced back in oh was it early last year or was it late last year i can't remember uh really nice planet shots it looks like the mandalorian i can't it, it looks fantastic visually uh this shot of cutie looking either i can't tell whether he's delighted or horrified in this shot of what he's seeing i mean i think horrified judging by the screen um you get this shot of the tardis malfunctioning while they're in their 60s get ups this shot looks incredible. Like, the collapsing London, like, following whatever happened in the 60s. I like the idea that if the Beatles don't exist, London just collapses. I mean, this is much worse looking to how London looks now, honestly. But, um, yeah, no, this visual looks absolutely fantastic. It reminds me of the Adventure Games, actually. Uh, we've got more shots of the family and the, de the devastation of London, which looks absolutely, like, fantastic. And yeah, so it looks like the Jinx Monsoon character kind of encloses her victims in music and musical chords. There was a rumor that this episode was called The Devil's Chord, so that makes sense. I'm assuming that, like, if, um, you know, I think the Toymaker is the god of games, 
Then Jinx is the god of music, which is fun, and I'm assuming we will get a musical number. We have this scene that I think is really nice of um, the mum of Ruby asking, please keep my daughter safe. And the doctor says that he promises he will, which I really like as a moment. It's nice to have the family on board again, but also, so it's not like an adversarial relationship. It's like a, I want the best for my daughter. I can see that you, you want the best for her too. I can see that she enjoys this and I will support it, but you've got to keep her safe. I really like that. And then we get a ton of different shots of Millie Gibson looking different ages as well. I don't know whether this is just me, but like, I feel like these are flashes in different moments in time here. Uh, we've got the Regency shot again, some more church stuff. This snowy shot here, so I'm not sure what episode this is from. No idea. Uh, we've got the shot of Mel on the moped. That planet looking absolutely devastated. The TARDIS flying again. And yeah, the TARDIS back in unit. It looks like it's being scanned there. Which we've got the church scene again. Is that a new shot from church? And then when you can change time. I love that they use that song. It reminds me of Shrek, actually. Uh, I can't remember the name of the song because I'm terrible at music. Uh, again, more 60s stuff. Oh my god, are they going to have a whole Austin Powers style sequence? That would be great. That looks like that's what that might be. Everything is possible. And then we've got this really, like, devastated looking TARDIS, which I'm incredibly interested to see what the deal with that is. Like, that's like a, a wallpaper right there. Just the idea of the TARDIS looking disheveled. If you look as well, it looks like flowers have been laid out. So do people think the Doctor's died? Like, what's going on there? And then, yeah, the little shooty wink to camera. Again, Bonnie Langford. Very, very good trailer. I'm not sure whether this has been officially released yet. But so far, I think this looks absolutely incredible. Um, Really, really good stuff. It looks like a big budget Disney show, which I mean, shouldn't surprise me because we've known about this deal for some time. But man, there's something about it visually that just looks like next level. I love the concept of the TARDIS dying. I think there's some really, really cool ideas in here. The 60s stuff look great. There's just a scale and a scope to it that's really, really impressive. And there's a heart to it as well, with obviously the whole family dynamic being brought more to the forefront, uh, like RTD's first era. I'm liking a lot of the sort of banter between Ruby and the 50th Doctor. Yeah, I'm really, really feeling this. I think this looks incredibly good. But let me know what you guys think of the trailer. I really enjoyed this. Please like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you later.